Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen doing what I do, cook. All right, and today we're taking it back old school style. I will be doing baked chicken, white rice, um, regular corn, and I got two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Gotta be Jiffy, gotta be Jiffy. And I got some onions here to put across my chicken. All right, let me show you guys what chicken I'm working with today. It is the chicken quarters. I've got several of these. These are on sale, so you know how that go. Oh, go with what your money do. So I've got quite a few. I think I've got about eight. And these things are pretty big. Look at those nice chicken quarters. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Baked chicken, white rice, corn, and corn bread. And you know what, actually, the reason why I'm cooking this is because I was craving all this stuff. I was craving some baked chicken. Uh, doing the quarter like my mom used to always do it and I was craving some cornbread and some corn and some white rice I was craving all this. That's pretty much how this meal got put together y'all. But anyway So I've got my pan over here ready to pan up my chicken. I've got my cornbread uh, I'm gonna make like a little cornbread muffins, you know make little muffins out of the cornbread um, So I'm ready. Let's get into this all right, guys, let's go ahead and get our chicken panned up. I've got my Gotham. Y'all know I love my Gotham cookware. I'm going to spray my pan a little bit there. Let's go ahead and get this chicken down. I'm going to get the bigger pieces down first. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to get those bigger pieces of chicken down first. These are some really big chicken quarters. Let me show y'all. Pretty big. We're going to get those in the pan first. Yes. Mm, mm 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 mm. Oh yes. Oh, we finna cook it up. And y'all know they've been marinating all night. Marinating all night long. Okay. Let's get them in here. I'm gonna pour those juices in in a minute. So. All right. Looking good. Oh, yeah Looking real good get my chicken skin pulled nicely and tight across my chicken. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh Yeah, I Cannot wait to eat And the word of the day I'm gonna get into it right now the word of the day is be patient That's what God has been dealing with me about me reading my word and read my Bible and everything God keeps bringing that back to my vision back to my sight back to you know Like when I read my Bible and stuff God say be patient Gotta be patient I'm gonna put that juice right in the middle of my pan Be patient Gotta wait We be in such a hurry God knows I do But you gotta be patient Patience is a virtue. Gotta be patient. Good thing come to those who wait. I know it's hard being patient sometimes. I know it be hard, hard being patient a lot of times for me. Y'all know I'm keeping it real. But you know what? Gotta be patient. That's the word of the day. Be patient. Wait on the Lord. Wait on his timing. His timing is always perfect. God's timing is the best. All right, I'm gonna spray the top of my chicken. And y'all know how to spray it with a little, little oil that helps cook your chicken. I'm going to put a little water in this pan. A little bit of water. Because, you know, a little bit of water is going to create a little steam. Help our chicken cook. So all we need is a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. I've already got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And these are some thick chicken quarters. So... I don't know. I'm going to guess these will probably be for all of these. Probably be like an hour. So, yeah. Now, I got some onions. Because, yes, I want to throw some onions across the top of this chicken. Yes, I did. So, we just going to lay it across the chicken like that. Ooh, wee. Oh, that's going to be some good eating right there. Let me see. Just lay some onions across just like that. Just like that. And that onion flavor going to bake right into the chicken while the chicken is cooking right into it i know y'all see it oh yeah come on onions come on out of there Ooh, gonna give our chicken a nice onion flavor flavor yes Ooh -wee. 
This old school right here. These chicken quarters. This old school right here. Old school. This is how my mama used to cook it. Of course, you can always separate your, your drum from your brass. You can always do that, of course. But no, we keeping it old school today. I'm going to put a couple onions down there in that juice. Get some onion flavor down there. Make sure my chicken got enough onions. Yes, make sure your chicken all nicely covered in your onions. I'm not going to put parsley on yet. I'll put parsley on when it's finished cooking. Make sure I get all my onions I paid for. That's it, y'all. Don't forget, get all your money's worth. All right, y'all see how that looks. Let me get my hands washed real quick. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's old school. Chicken right there. Chicken. Y'all heard me. Chicken. Look at that. Old school right there. Ooh, look at it. All them onions on it. Oh, yeah. You can do all kind of stuff. You can do red pepper, green pepper, purple pepper. Put all your peppers. You can do all of that. But now today, baby, we doing just onions. I've got everything all nicely seasoned. Ooh, I seasoned these up. And they've been marinating overnight. Yes. So I got my onions in there. I'm going to throw it in the oven. I was trying to debate if I should wrap it or not. But because the chicken's so thick, I'm not going to wrap it. So, I'm going to put it in the oven 350 degrees. And I'm guessing with these thick chicken quarters, it'll probably be about 45 minutes to an hour, y'all. I'll let y'all know how long it really took. And if I forget, forgive me. But I'm going to set the timer for an hour. That's what I'm going to set the timer for. 350 degrees. Um, my minute rice, y'all seen me cook this a million times now. My little quick minute rice. Uh, I'm not going to record that. Corn, just putting the corn in the pan, in the pot, and just heating it up, y'all. No, I'm not recording that. But I might come back with the uh, Jiffy with my cornbread and show y'all how I muffin. Pull my um, Jiffy mix in the um, muffin pan. I think I might come back and do that, show y'all that. I just want the main focus to be on the baked chicken. That's what I want it to be. So, all right, y'all. I'll be back. Hey, guys. I'm back. Just wanted to come and show you. The chicken is already done. Yes, I put that chicken in the oven. That chicken got done. You know what? It took about an hour and 15 minutes. I guess, you know, because it's the bigger chicken quarters. But, uh, oh, yeah. I had to come show y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm taking y'all in. Y'all already know. Oh, look at that chicken. All nice and juicy. Ooh-wee. Look at them onions. All nice and crispy baked into the baked chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, this going to be good, baby. This going to be real, real good. I'm ready to eat right now. Y'all already know how I do. I stay ready. Ooh, hey, look at that chicken. You bring y'all nosy selves out. Okay. Take y'all back in. Ooh, look at the goodness. Look at the goodness of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hey, that baked chicken look good. All right. I got my uh, cornbread muffins in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and do this rice and corn real quick. Don't want to make this a long video. I wanted the video to be focused on the baked chicken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, old school, roasted baked chicken. They don't make it like that no more. All right, y'all. I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys. I'm back with the grand finale. We've got our baked chicken over there. Y'all saw that already. Still looking good. We've got our cornbread muffins over there. Quick Jiffy uh, muffins. Y'all know how that go. Looking good. Let me take, give y'all another look at the muffins. Oh, yeah. They looking real, real good. We got our nice, quick, fluffy white rice. Nice, quick, and easy, fluffy white rice. And we've got our corn over here. I put a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic salt in that corn. And that's it, y'all. Sunday dinner, whatever dinner you want to call it, whatever day of the week you want to cook it. It's a quick through the week meal if you like. All right, guys. That's it. That's all. I'm ready to eat. I got to go. So, all right. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.